I am really starting to get tired of these losses. I understand we're a rebuilding team. I understand it's still going to be painful. But man, is it hard to watch. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going insane. I, I really do think I'm going insane. Because he lost, these losses are starting to pile up a little bit. The Leafs are 2-4-3 and three now on the year. You know, it was a weird game, that's for sure. Obviously, Hamannick scored to open the game a minute into the first. Six minutes later, Casey Sezika scores to make it two nothing. We're thinking, oh boy, here we go. Uh, early in the third, in, in the se in the third period, nothing happened in the second. Jake Gardner scores to make it a two one game. We're thinking, okay, we have some life. Shane Prince scores, Brock Nelson scores, and Josh Bailey scores. Five one final. More defensive lapses. More not wow. Enroth was was great until what the last. The last 12 minutes of the game, last 15 minutes of the game, and the first seven, right? He was great in between then, had a great second period, but just overall not a great performance by the team. Obviously, Jake Gardner scored with William Nylander getting the assist, and James Van Riemsdyk getting an assist. So if we're looking at numbers and stats and points and all that, let's look at it from this standpoint. Jake Gardner's got now got six points, a goal and five assists on the year. And William Nylander continues to add his assist total. Four goals, seven assists for 11 points in nine games. Austin Matthews has now gone three straight without a point. But he's a young guy. What, what can we really do? JVR now has six points in nine games as well. He's looking pretty good. But that really doesn't... Those don't help us win. You know, and, and it takes development. It takes learning. Right, Austin Matthews had an amazing start. He has had a eh last few games. He's been he's been effective. He's been good, but he just hasn't put in the puck in the net. Hasn't got a lot of points. Doesn't really matter there. But you know what? We like to see numbers, and numbers are nice to look at. And his numbers have been eh over the past three games. And a stat actually that I learned today is that the Austin Matthews every time he has got a point, the Leafs have not won. He didn't get a point today, but we still lost. So that really doesn't really affect anything, but it's just a weird number, a, a really weird stat, actually. But we just got to keep going, I guess. It's it's, it's a grind, right? We got to look towards, I mean, and it's something I want to ask you guys. Uh, we're not going to close the video off yet, but I want to ask you guys before we uh, get too far into the season, I guess, what do we want out of this year? Do we want a good competitive team getting a so-so draft pick, kind of like the 9-10, maybe a little bit uh, worse draft pick, but still missing the playoffs kind of thing. Is that the, kind of like the perfect year? Or do we want another year where we just don't play well and come pretty much last and get a good draft pick? You know, what would one more year of good drafting be kind of like what this team needs? Or... You know, what What are we looking for? What What is this season going towards? A lot of people are expecting, well, maybe this team could be a playoff team. Well, not yet. This team's too young. They're too inexperienced, right? Last year was kind of like the unload, get draft picks, you know, bring players in, um, give the youngsters a little taste of what it is. And they did that. And it was, it was successful, and it was also a successful offseason, too. And obviously, you know, we're now into this year. Why they bring Roman Polak back? Was that to make a move eventually to get rid of him for picks? Or, you know, what, what, what are their mindsets? We don't really know what it is right now. We know we have some great young players who are getting significant time to play, obviously. You know, a great example would be Connor Carrick, who really had never had consistent... Uh, playing time in the NHL. With Washington, he had some stints. With the Leafs last year, he had a stint. Now he's getting full time, and he's looking good. I really enjoy what I'm seeing from him. Obviously, Nikita Zaitsev, first uh, first season in the NHL. Austin Matthews, William Nylander's first full NHL season. Zach Hyman, really. 
Connor Brown, right? We can keep going with the names if we want to. And all we want to see is progression. We know the team has not been, well, great when it comes to points and numbers and all that kind of stuff, right? But we're looking at development. That's really the kind of stage we're at. Continue to gain prospects in the upcoming draft, maybe a high draft pick if we can, you know, things like that, and see development out of the players, right? Another player is uh, Seth, Seth Griffith. Always fun to say. Mitch Marner. I can't believe I forgot his name. Another guy just starting his NHL career, right? And, uh, you know, those are guys that you're looking towards being greats for this team. It just takes development and time. But these losses are tough to watch nonetheless. Last year, we expected to lose. And we were like, you know what? If we get a win, it's nice. But if we lose, oh, well, it's what we expect. But now, with the young team and the, the team we want to see get good, you know, we want to see we want to see we want to see development. We want to see moves to win, right? But we've got the right coach behind the behind the bench, so he will teach these guys how to play. I think a lot of them are looking very good on the offensive side. The defensive side is not there yet, but that's going to take time. It is what it is. We all have to deal with this. I know I haven't talked really much about the game because really, do we want to talk about that abysmal game? No, we don't. We should talk about what, what, but uh, now that the video is going to be done in a couple, about a minute or so, I'm going to pose that question to you guys. What are you looking for in the rest of this season? I know we're only nine games in and it's still so early. They can twist the season around, make the playoffs. Whoa, you never know. What is our goal? Is our goal to fight for a playoff spot and possibly squeak in and get obliterated in the first round or maybe have a magical run? Is it to barely miss the playoffs but show great signs? Or is it get some more high draft picks and draft high and develop and continue to develop the guys we have but keep stocking up on the picks? That's what I want to ask you guys. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you like, hey, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. I do appreciate it, and uh, I do miss the Blue Jays, though. I do miss all the winning. It's I miss it. Hopefully, the Raptors can just keep the winning ways towards me. It was just nice with baseball because it was every single day we could talk about something. But hit that like button nonetheless, and subscribe if you guys are excited for uh, the future of this team and the, and the Raptor game tomorrow night. It's gonna be a good one. Denver in town. So, that's going to do it, guys, and, and, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night, Raptors post game, Halloween edition, ooh, maybe be dressed up as something, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, I might figure that something out, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow post game, see ya.